It's been almost 10 years now since the beginning of the financial crisis. At the time of this massive crash, it came as a surprise to everyone. No one saw it coming, or at least almost no one. 150 years ago, a book was written that predicted precisely these kind of crises. Marx's Capital, published in September of 1867, remains the best analysis and explanation for how capitalism works today. Marx may be buried in Highgate Cemetery, but as the continuing economic crisis demonstrates, the ideas he put forward, contained within capital, are more relevant now than ever. In his three volumes of Das Kapital, Karl Marx wrote about all the economic phenomena that we see around us in the 21st century. The rise of machinery and automation, the prevalence of precarious work in the gig economy, and the eye-watering inequality we see around us. All these were predicted and explained long ago within the pages of Capital. Marx explained how capitalism came into being, why some things were more valuable than others, where money came from and what role it played within society. And, most importantly, Marx showed that economic crises are an inherent part of capitalism, the inevitable result of a system where the market and competition dominate, where the vast bulk of our wealth and technology lie in the hands of a tiny rich elite, and where we produce not for the needs of the many, but for the profits of the few. If you want to learn more about Marx's ideas and understand for yourself how capitalism works, or doesn't, and why we need to overthrow it, then join Socialist Appeal and the Marxist Student Federation for our event in London on the 16th of September, where we'll be celebrating the 150th anniversary of Capital with an event called Capital in a Day. We'll be exploring the main themes of this book, explaining Marx's writings and discussing how these ideas relate to the world around us. Most importantly, we'll be talking about how we can use these ideas to fight for a revolutionary socialist alternative. As Marx himself famously said, the philosophers have only interpreted the world. The point, however, is to change it.